First of all, let me thank the organizers for the invitation to speak here for the nice evening, yesterday evening, and um, certainly also for visiting this beautiful city. Second of all, uh, I would like to congratulate the Swedish and the Finnish colleagues for their very successful uh, exploration programs in their countries, especially if you compare that to Germany. In Germany now, all metal mines are closed, all hard coal mines are closed. In West Germany, we have, to my knowledge, one exploration project. In East Germany, uh, it's a little bit better, but uh, this situation in Germany is horrible as compared to your situation. Now let's come back to the European Federation of Geologists. The European Federation of Geologists, uh, we consider this organization as the, the voice of the European geologist. It is an NGO with a headquarter in Brussels, founded in 1980. <clears throat> it's representing professional organizations of geoscientists across Europe. It's not bound to the EU, so it's a, Europe <clears throat> a European organization. The members are the national professional associations. We developed a strategic plan towards a sustainable future. And the strategic actions are increase the membership base, uh, <clears throat> intensify the, the network across Europe, improve the professional expertise, uh, participate in the EU projects, and um, offer the um, participants of the EFG the communication, com <clears throat> communication and panel of experts platforms. Oh, that's a, a short view on the strate <coughs> strategic plan until uh, 2022. The voice of the European ge uh, geologists. Our purpose is <coughs> the European Federation of Geologists as a non-profit organization instituted to ensure the competent and ethical praxis among geoscientists in Europe by representing the uh, professionalism and the profession across the continent. Our vision is to aim to be recognized as an independent, truthworthy and reliable international organization that contributes to the protection of the environment, the public safety and the responsible, uh, responsible use of natural resources. The mission is to promote the excellence in the application of geoscience across Europe, to represent the professional European associations of geoscientists and to create a public awareness of geoscience important to the society. The values are professional geologists contribute to public safety, sustainable development, the responsible use of natural resources, wealth creation and the eff effective prediction, prevention and mitigation of national hazards through the cooperation with other experts and effective communication with the public. Now to date we consist of 26 uh, <clears throat> professional organizations across Europe. Uh, the last new member was Romania and um, in one week, uh, most probably Estonia and Austria will become a member. We have close links to Australia, Canada, South Africa and uh, the United States. So we represent a total of more than 45,000 uh, professional geoscientists in Europe. Plus the overseas uh, partners, the power of this uh, geological association is enormous. If you split up the membership uh, according to the countries, you easily see that Italy, United Kingdom, Ukraine and Spain have much more members in the EFG, in their uh, member, uh, professional associations as the others. For example, Germany has uh, around about 2,000 out of 19,000 geoscientists in, in Germany. In Italy, we have nearly 14,000 geoscientists. That is because in some countries, 
<coughs> the professional organization is a voluntary organization, like in Germany, and in other countries, it's a mandatory organization that all uh, geologists who want to work in that country have to be member of a chamber. Now, the network we created uh, expands around the globe. We are an affiliate member of the IUGS. We are a founding member of the IUGS Task Group for Global Geoscience Professionalism, the PERC Committee, as we heard yesterday, GeoTrainet, and the International Raw Materials Observatory. We have memorandums of, un and memorandums of understanding across the world with Indonesia, with uh, United States, with um, Ge Geological Society of Africa, and many others. On that map, you can see how the, um, um, <clears throat> the spreading of the um, international recognition is uh, advanced through the years. Now we see the activities of the professional geologist in a triangle between environmental responsibility, <coughs> contribution to public safety and education, and a commercial responsibility. The European professional title, the Euro European geologist, should enhance the mobility of geoscience professional and the recognition of professional expertise in Europe and around. We created a Eurogeologist app, which is a public directory of uh, current Eurogeologist title holders. All guidelines to apply for the professional title and a networking tool for the active title holders. We also maintain a international mentoring program. That means in every year we um, link 10 mentees to mentors across Europe. So basically there's one mentee from each country. <clears throat> and we have a, our endorsed training programs and Euro workshop where we provide uh, continuous professional training to our members and other people. Now the European geologist title held by a professional geologist means that the holder has achieved a su suitable academic training <clears throat> and a level of professional experience, skill and competence to perform tasks within their professional practice. The four pillars based um, are the basis for the European geologists, which are academic qualification, professional experience, code of ethics and the continual professional development. To be recognized as a European geologist, you have to have a, a university degree or equivalent qualification of a minimum of a Bachelor of Science. You have to have not less than nine years experience and training together. You have to be a member of the Professional National Association, which uh, is a member of the EFG. Your application has to be supported by two sponsors. You have to prove annually that you uh, advance with your training, your continuous professional development, and you have to follow the EU regulations and the Code of Ethics. <clears throat> the continuous professional development is a, sy <clears throat> a systematic maintenance, improvement and broadening of knowledge, skill and development of personal qualities necessary to the execu execution of professional, ethical and technical duties. Keep professionals up to date in their existing areas of expertise and address the danger of skills, obsolescence and over-specialization. The requirement to present annual CPD records and the Eurogeologist app supports the Eurogeologist in their qualification of CPD records. Now, <clears throat> um, since last year, um, it is mandatory to have a part of your CPD records on ethics and um, social responsibility. 
this is one of the, the first uh, professional organizations which ask that from their members. If you see the development of the European geologists, until now we are about 1,500 uh, successful applications, and to date we have a little bit more than 1,000 European geologists at work. Again, if you spread that to the countries, uh, you see that some com countries like the UK, like Ireland and Spain, have much more of uh, European geologists than the others, which is uh, the reason that they are mandatory uh, chambers. The, Euro and the European geologist comes from a different area. Most of them work for the industry. <clears throat> They're especially um, from minerals, uh, geotechnics, and um, hydrogeology. This is uh, a map showing the acceptance of the European geologist title worldwide through SRISCO. Our new title, which we will introduce probably in November, is the Qualified Expert. The working title of that was the Silverback, because it are the very experienced geologist with the gray hairs. So our minimum professional requirement here is 10 years of experience in a certain field of geology. And of course you have to be a Eurogeologist as well and you will be certified by, certified by the national vetting committees. In 2018, the EFG was involved in 11 European projects of the Horizon 2020 program, like Kindra Minatura, Infect, in, uh, Intro, and many others. In 2019, um, four new projects um, were uh, accepted by the EU, which is Robo Miners to develop a robot uh, who can do mining, crowd thermal, NG, and just recently, uh, the day before yesterday, ProSkill. <clears throat> uh, furthermore, we contribute uh, in the advisory board to the Orama project. We have a couple of um, communication instruments like uh, the journal of the European geologist GeoNews and Geology for Society. And of course, we are um, active on, on Facebook, LinkedIn, and others. Now, within the EFG, we have 10 panel of experts on CO2, um, CO2 ge geological storage, education, geoheritage, geotechnics, geothermal, hydrogeology, natural hazards, minerals, oil and gas, and soil protection. Everybody who is a Eurogeologist can participate in this panel of experts and um, providing there the high quality advice and information to the European institutions, international NGOs and uh, associations. <clears throat> Until now we have 223 experts in the panels uh, from 22 European and some uh, non-European countries. Again, the biggest group uh, is minerals and natural hazards and um, geothermal energy. I very much recommend uh, the Estonian society to participate there as well. Now talking about the experts, the photo below is a photo um, from underground uh, between Austria and Germany where you have a boundary underground. Now the situation in the past was that we were learning from our older colleagues by experience. Every country, uh, even every company had its own regulations and we were all, were all using different terms and languages. Now today is that most countries adopted one of the Frisco codes. All companies are relying on international stock exchanges following the codes, a <clears throat> worldwide professional training using a common language and still we are learning from our 
older colleagues, which is absolutely necessary. My experience is that the learning from older co colleagues is very good and a basic tool, but different people, different company traditions and different resource codes lead to a, may lead to a Babylonian confusion and possibly wrong results. <clears throat> Using organizations like EFG and PERC combines personal learning with generally accepted rules. Working in a worldwide uh, international cooperation, all CPL, all experts do speak in a similar language, use similar procedures and share the same responsibility. Now this is a coming to the end. Um, you should know your geologist, who it is, whom you trust. If you look, look to the future, is our, our targets are to <clears throat> extend our membership base, building up a Europe-wide strong standing as geologists and geoscientists in public. Here the key word comes again, social acceptance of uh, our job. Improve the social acceptance and the public trust in our profession, establishing international training and education standards. <clears throat> Here we plan, we think about the Intamin project, which is a worldwide standard of certification of uh, training programs. To extend the Eurogeologist competent person and qualified expert concept from minerals to other uh, geoscientific specializations. We did that for the European geologist already. So the European geologist is not restricted to minerals. It's open for everybody who is a GN scientist. And furthermore, to improve our cooperation with Berg, UNFC and other international uh, institutions. Thank you. And Tenan Verga. <laughs> Thanks, Sean Michael. Uh, first of all, uh, how far away is uh, Estonia from membership? Uh, One week. Uh, one week? Okay, after oh, that? Eight days. Eight days. <laughs> um, why is Norway uh, still not member? What to say? Good question. Next question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't know. We uh, approached them a couple of times. But um, until now, they didn't think of going to. Mm. Uh, what is your influence to European level politics, European Commission, European Parliament? I'm personally a member of the raw material supply group. <clears throat> and uh, we have several other groups as well where the EFG is constantly in the meetings present and uh, gives proposals as well. Mm -hmm. So there is a strong contribution of the EFG to the European Union. Any questions to Mihail? No, thank you. Yeah.